Listen. Uh, the hi- big hypnotism event ha- did happen last night. Uh, go rewind a week, and I didn't think we'd get to this point. But what we did is we played a DVD of the 1966 World Cup final. Uh, a whole load of XFM listeners came down. Absolutely amazing lot. If you ever are involved in anything, and XFM listeners are going to be there, that's you I'm talking about. Uh, my advice is buy more beer. <laughs> <laughs> Dead simple. Just buy more beer. Producer Jim and myself, we were in, went to like bargain booze yesterday afternoon and filled up the boot of your little Toyota. Yeah. Corolla. It's all right, it's a Corolla. People will be driving. We said it's a, it's a week night. Everyone's got work the next day. We we bought enough beer that we thought, you know what? We'll we'll, we'll do that for another event. We'll save this for another event. We'll do uh, no. <laughs> Inhaled the and whole lot. Gone. Also buy more of those little marshmallow chocolate cakes. Uh, Tonics tea cakes because they were a bit of a winner too. Tell you what, because well, I thought 1966. I'm going to go for some old school sweets. Getting the old Tonics tea cakes. Yeah, baby, love them. Uh, so listen, right, um, every, it, we did it, it happened, I wasn't sure it was going to work, uh, I'm going to let you in on what happened uh, very, very soon. Are you going to get that feeling of England winning the World Cup? Stay there and you'll find out, it's XFM Blur. Florence and the Machine, Kiss with a Fist on XFM Manchester. Very good morning to you. It's uh, time now, 20 to 8. And I think it's about time, uh, now all the talking is done, we actually get into the meat of what happened here at XFM yesterday. So let me take you back a week or so. I'm more than a week now. Uh, Ten days, uh, I came up with this harebrained idea. How about, as England are rubbish at the football and we've been knocked out of the World Cup, we're not going to know what that feels like to see England win the World Cup for... Uh, at least another four years and even then doesn't look that good Uh, what would it be like how could we get that feeling and I I just jokingly went well a hypnotist let's get one Uh, then uh, a hypnotist local hypnotist Alastair Stevenson got in touch and said I think that's a brilliant idea and we sort of brainstormed this idea that's pretty much how it started right Alastair on the radio here. Uh, yes, you are on the radio <laughs> here, Alistair. I am sorry about that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yourself, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, who were you just telling you on the radio? I was just uh, I was just saying, you know, you get the feedback and everything, and uh, yes, I, uh, I've got up early, especially to listen to you. I usually listen to you a bit later, but this, this is brilliant, yes. It was a great night last night. Not enough beer, though, not enough beer. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, I, I think that's only because it's XFM listeners. I'm sorry, if we'd, if we'd done this with any other group of people, and I would have been more than enough to cover a few nights. No, but you're absolutely right. We did run dry after a bit, but <laughs> just people, oh, I can believe it, drank like fish on a, on a school night as well. It's brilliant. Listen, right, uh, this was the sort of um, feeling that, that, that people were saying afterwards. So let me just play this to you, Alistair. I didn't think it'd actually work, but um, it's super. It's a really good experience, but it was great watching it. It's really, really good, mate. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, it was good, yeah. It went a little bit. Yeah, it was just a bit nuts. I didn't think it was going to work, but obviously it's good, yeah. Yeah, great laugh, loved it, yeah. <laughs> See, that was the general vibe, and I'll be honest, I didn't know if this hypnotism, hypnotising people to watch the 66 World Cup final and believe it was a 2010 World Cup final, I didn't think or know if it would work. But it did. Yeah, yeah, it did. It did. It was brilliant, yeah. It was absolutely amazing. And now, um, uh, uh, you did sort of have to get everyone into that relaxed state, but you did try and relax people first. You did a, an amazing job, Alistair, I've got to say. There was one oh, moment... Thank you very much. There was one moment where I think the beads of sweat were rolling down your forehead, and that, uh, and that was when you uh, you dusted <laughs> off this joke. Knock, knock! Who's there? Uh, Biggish. 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 You know, I've got that copy, but it's good for people a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the jokes aren't working that well. <laughs> uh, all we were missing was... But, um, yeah, yeah. That's a solid joke. I was say, I'm not, I'm not a comedian. I'm a hypnotist. Yeah. And you were an amazing hypnotist. And do you know what, Alistair? Um, thanks so much for being involved. I, I'm so excited about playing the results of what happened, which we're going to do very My soon. Pleasure. Uh, Alistair Stevenson, we'll get a, a link to uh, his work on our website at xfm.co.uk forward slash cocker. And uh, yeah, sit back, grab yourself coffee, Alistair. We're going to play what happened very soon. Excellent, excellent. Uh, brilliant. Thank you very much for the opportunity. Brilliant. My pleasure. <laughs> It was the last time England have won the World Cup. We wanted to do something about that last night. So we hypnotised a load of XFM Manchester listeners to believe that when they watch the 66 World Cup final, they're actually watching the 2010 World Cup final. Already heard from uh, Alistair Stevenson, the hypnotist. Uh, we were, we were kind of nervous beforehand, but we did manage to get probably about seven people out of the 40 
Yeah, it was a pretty good hit rate. Pretty good hit rate to go under. And uh, it was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have a listen to uh, this. I would like you to imagine that you are watching the game tonight. The game is going to be fantastic. We are in the final of the World Cup. Each and every one of you, I'd like you to just imagine, really get excited and just imagine, just imagine that we are in the final of the World Cup. Each and every one of you, I'd like to imagine that you're in the final of the World Cup. And then there was the pre-match build-up from all the guys that were under. We're in the final. We are in the final. La, la, la. La, la, la. We are in the final. We are And I remember t uh, looking over to uh, producer Jim on the other side of the room with popcorn strewn everywhere, crisps, beer bottles knocked over. And I just gave him a little wink and I said, mouthed. It's gonna work because <laughs> <laughs> it was it was only at this point that we thought we're actually gonna get England winning the World Cup. We are gonna achieve a world first, and it was a mix of emotions. Because half of me was thinking this is brilliant, this is amazing. The other half was thinking I want to feel like that. Yeah, I want to be that excited that I think England are gonna win the 2010 World Cup final. Oh, do you know what? The emotions are gonna be flowing very soon because uh, we're gonna get through the goals, uh, build up to kick off. Uh, from that momentous occasion, forget Holland, Spain. It's all about England, Germany. World Cup final 2010 next. This is the Tim Cocker Breakfast Show. I think that's about as clear as you can get. X FM. So last night, uh, hypnotised some XFM listeners. There was a whole massive room full of people. It was the hottest room in the planet. We had the pizzas, the beers went. They were all completely cleaned out of bevies. And uh, about seven or eight people managed to get hypnotised. Quite a good hypn rate. And what we did is play the DVD of the 1966 World Cup final. They were believing they were watching England in 2010. So at least some England fans could feel what it's like to see England win. Now, there was one amazing moment. The hypnotist basically said, right, uh, before, I'm just going to do some suggestibility exercises, etc., etc." Uh, and, and Alistair said, um, okay, you won't be allowed, even if you're hypnotised, uh, you won't be allowed to do anything that your morals won't allow you to do. <laughs> And then one of the, and then one of uh, one of the people that did get hypnotised, she she piped up, put her hand up. I've got a question. What if your morals are really low? <laughs> <laughs> and you saw you saw a few looks from uh, fellas all around the room going, oh, I'll get her number. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the, these guys did get hypnotised, and um, the first thing we did to build up to the match is we sort of went, right, come on then, prediction of the score and the scorers. Firstly, people score predictions. I'm going to touch you on the shoulder, you can tell me what score it's going to be tonight. 5-0. 5-0. 2 to who? England. And what do you think the score will be tonight? 3-1 to England. 3-1 tonight, oh, uh, that's great. And what do you think the score will be tonight? 2-0. 2-0. And what do you think the score will be tonight? <laughs> <laughs> if you just miss that, uh, let me just let, let you in. One of the guys was so relaxed, he's just completely <laughs> fallen asleep. Uh, what do you think the score will be tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we'll just drift down and sink down. It's going to get more exciting, more exciting. What do you think the score will be tonight? 3-2 three, to two, three, England! England! <laughs> So all going good. And then it was who's going to be the first scorer. Now, this just proves people are hypnotised because your brain doesn't think. It doesn't have the ability to sort of think about things and rationalise it. Stuff just comes out of your mouth, which is why when they're asked who the first scorer for the England 2010 team is going to be, this happened. I'm going to touch you on the shoulder and you're going to tell me who you think will score the first goal. Who do you think will score the first goal? Gaza. Gaza. Wow. <laughs> who do you think will score the first goal? Gaza. Beckham. Beckham, wow. <laughs> Who do you think will score the first goal? Beckham. Who do you think will score the first goal tonight? Rooney! Rooney! <laughs> Who do you think will score the first goal tonight? Runa. Right, so we've had a couple of Roonies, a couple of Beckhams and a Gazza. This is the greatest one ever. Listen carefully. Uh, Who do you think will score the first goal? Giggs. Giggs. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get into the match of the goals there. This is XFM. The XFM Breakfast Show. With Tim Cocker. Uh, but back to the real deal. 
Uh, the hypnotism experiment started off as a bit of a joke. Actually happened last night here at XFM. About 50, odd, uh, 50 people came down. The room full of people. The hottest room you've ever been in. <laughs> Apparently that is one of the side effects of being hypnotised. That's what Alistair, our hypnotist, was saying. That, yeah, as you're going under, you get hotter, you start to sweat. Well, basically what happened is we put on the DVD of the 1966 World Cup final. And so uh, the hypnotist believed that they were watching England in 2010 win the World Cup. Uh, the first goal went in and, and we sort of thought, you know what, we'll have a bit of a laugh with this. We'll get to all the celebration and make sure people feel that overwhelming joy a bit later. We can have a bit of a giggle. The first goal is actually scored by Germany and we had it so that the people being hypnotised were going to celebrate and then get really embarrassed because they then realised, oh no, it's Germany playing in white, not England. Uh, so this is how that went down. You've got, honestly, you've got to see the video because to see their face turn from pure joy to then feeling like, oh my God, I've really embarrassed myself in front of the whole pub or whole room full of people. It's amazing. The second goal, England scored. It was Jeff Hurst's first. And um, we made it so that all the passion and all the joy that they had was channeled into the making of a <laughs> Vuvuzela noise. Completely ridiculous. But they couldn't say anything. You, the look on their face, you saw these big beady red <laughs> eyes. And then all they could do was go, as you'll hear. And brought down by Overat. Over the picket. Okay, each and every one of you stop doing that. Sleep, 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 sleep. You can drift down and sink down. Just sleep, sleep. There they were, sleeping away. Ready for the next instructions on the next England goals, which I'm going to play for you in a bit, as well as absolute tunage, MGMT and kids in a sec. This is the Tim Cocker Breakfast Show. I think that's about as clear as you can get. X FM. MGMT on XFM Manchester. It's Cocker here. Good morning. So the big World Cup hypnotism experiment. Uh, you see, lots. the rest of the world are talking about uh, the actual World Cup final. I'm sorry, but no one would dare do it. But everyone in England is talking about XFM Manchester's World Cup hypnotism experiment where England actually won the World Cup according to about six people that were hypnotised into thinking that the 1966 <laughs> World Cup final DVD was in fact the 2010 World Cup final happening live. Uh, now we've heard a couple of goals. Uh, England go ahead through a Martin Peters goal. Uh, now we thought it'd be a bit of fun for if the people hypnotised believe that goal was scored by Emil Heskey. Chance to be a fine thing. This was possibly putting the whole hypnotism thing completely to the test. Can we convince people Emil Heskey can score a goal for England in a World <laughs> Cup? Well, not even just a goal for England, let alone in a World Cup final. And we also wanted them to believe Emil Heskey was the best player on planet Earth. If anything was going to snap him out of it, it was this. But have a listen. Let's go, let's go! Actually, the reporter here from Sky News would like to tell, uh, could you tell everybody how you love Heskey and how he's the best player? What do you reckon? It's amazing. How can you just say that he's <laughs> all this time? He's just absolutely just put one back in and just where from? Come on, he's absolutely amazing, isn't he? Do you think he should always be in the England team? Do you think he should always be in the Oh my God, God absolutely. Of course he should. Look at that. What do you think of Heskey? Oh, he's the best. Yeah, yeah. Absolute brilliant. Legend. Gonna do it for us. The dog's <laughs> Amazing. So, Emil Heskey is the greatest player on planet Earth. Uh, uh, and you were one of the people that got hypnotised last night. Yeah, and uh, I've never felt so relaxed as I do this morning. It's brilliant. 
That's amazing. <laughs> you do sound proper chilled out. Uh, now, the next, uh, at this point, England were ahead, of course. Do you remember being told you are a German fan who speaks German and you're going to give your thoughts to the reporter? Do you remember that? I do, and that was straight after Heskey had scored. Yeah. And so, and, or even, he didn't score, but I remember it, that he did. And I was so excited. And then the next thing, they said, you're a German. And I was so annoyed and I was so upset. And I just felt like it was all being taken away from me. And I just, I was almost crying. You were German. I, I don't know, crying, maybe not the, what I saw. I saw just very angry. <laughs> Some fruity language as well. I, I hope we've bleeped out the right bits. I can't speak German. No idea. <laughs> Play it. What do you think of the game so far? I sh**. Hesky is in For whom can stick Nick this winter shine? Uh, where, where are you from? You can tell us where are you from. Stuttgart. Stuttgart. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. So you don't like the game at the moment? It's, it's very bad. Man. Yeah. Who would you like to win? Deutschland! 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 <laughs> and and uh, what would you like to say to all your friends that are a bit upset as well? Wer kannst meine Freundin? Come on! <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's brilliant. Brilliant. Because you, you've got a great team, haven't you? Yeah, the bestest. <laughs> what about England then? What do you think of England? Ich hasse England! Sleep, 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 sleep. Go deeper and deeper. I don't quite know what that means, but I'm sure you do. Deeper and deeper. Where is he really from? Where's he really from? Rochdale. Rochdale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you remember of that, Ad? Um, I, I, just, I just remember just being so annoyed. I mean, I didn't even have to... I mean, because I did a little bit of German at school, so I can apologise to Mrs. Upson now who talks German. <laughs> I don't know where I got all those swear words from, but usually when I try and speak another language, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, you stop and you're going, uh, 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 uh. But, like, last night it just all came out. It was just, like, I was Hans from Stuttgart for about <laughs> Well, Hans from Stuttgart, uh, thank you so much for being part of it. Don't know, but do you remember assuming another identity later on in the evening? In the, uh, evening? Um, Yeah. Uh, we may well be getting back in touch with you a bit later in the show. Uh, Hans from Rochdale there. Ant from Stuttgart. Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> it's the Gaslight Anthem on XFM Manchester. <laughs> XFM 20 to 9. So last night's was the XFM World Cup hypnotism experiment where we hypnotised some XFM listeners. A load of other people came along just to check out the show uh, to actually just see if we could make people believe England were winning the World Cup final by playing them a DVD of the 66 World Cup final. I have to admit, I'm quite nervous about the uh, next person I'm going to introduce you to uh, because she was responsible for quite a few of the, uh, the bombs we had to bleep out. <laughs> Vanessa, a nurse from Berry, how are you? Hi, I'm a bit embarrassed for you, Wes. <laughs> <laughs> it was loads of entertainment. Now, the thing is, I chatted to you afterwards, and you yeah. were one of the people that was so... You were convinced Emil Heskey was the greatest player on the planet, and you were cheering for him so much, but you actually don't know that much about football. No, I know that Heskey's not that good because everybody moans about him, but I've never, I've never watched the England match this year. I couldn't <laughs> hear what I used in the team. Um... <laughs> And um, yeah, I don't know where it came from at uh, all. Vanessa, going to relive your finest hour again. Here's you oh. cheering for Heskey. Let's go, Heskey! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, did you have a good time, Vanessa? I absolutely enjoyed it, and I was up this morning half past four. I felt like I've, I've been on a two-week holiday. Absolutely amazing, amazing. You were so chilled out and relaxed. Uh, right, have a listen to the, another couple of bits as well, because there was one bit, the controversial goal, the Jeff Hurst goal that uh, did it cross the line, didn't it cross the line. We wanted to get the real opinion uh, from people who thought they were watching it live, uh, like you, Vanessa. Uh, here's what happened. Here's Paul running himself back. It's on the line, it's on the line. It's on the line, is it? What do you reckon? This lady here thinks she scored. Do you think we scored? We what did. Do you Why did we not? It went behind. 
It's on the line. It's on the line. It's on the line. Controversial bit for England. It's terrible. Did no, it did go free. Did it? Yeah. Vanessa, you were, I think you were conclusive proof. That was a goal. Vanessa yeah. said it's a goal. It's a goal. <laughs> what was it like? Because you were so convinced. Your eyes were like, that was a goal. You, you were absolutely adamant. How did, how did it just, feel? I just knew it. I just absolutely knew. If, if I would have been told I was walking on the moon, I would have been walking on the moon. I don't know why. I just, I just knew it. I just absolutely knew what I was being told. What an amazing power. I want it. <laughs> <laughs> Vanessa, thanks so much for being part of it. We had a Thank great you. time having you down. Can I just apologise to my teenage children who's had to listen to that <laughs> and, and text me and gone disgusting. Um, and, you know, anyone who knows me knows I hate swearing. I hate it. Well, something we learnt was <laughs> hypnotise Vanessa. Very sweary. <laughs> yeah, very, very yeah. sweary indeed. Vanessa, I'm the one who asked about the morals as well. You are, yeah, yeah. just to recap, I mentioned that earlier. <laughs> Vanessa was the person that when the hypnotist said, you know, you won't be allowed to do anything under the influence of hypnotism that, you, that your morals wouldn't let you, Vanessa put her hand up and went, what if you've got really low morals? <laughs> It's one of my favourite moments of the night. People Vanessa. Just to a lot of That's all. <laughs> oh, I'm bless you. Thanks Thank for being you part of it. Take care, night. Vanessa. Thank you. Right, we are actually going to get to the presentation of the World Cup trophy uh, in just a few minutes on XFM. I'm Tim Cocker, and, uh, well, you've been hearing about it all morning. It was unbelievable. Started out as a bit of a joke. Some people said it was bobbins. They said it couldn't happen. The fact is, no one else would dare even try it. Uh, but we did achieve that feat of making England win the World Cup 2010, uh, at least for some, because we hypnotised some XFM listeners who were such good sports and were amazing, and you've already been hearing how much fun it's been, uh, to they were hypnotised so that when they watched the 66 World Cup final, they honestly, truly believed they were watching live the World Cup final 2010. It was amazing. Uh, but we thought, why stop there? We've been hearing all about this Paul the Octopus predicting the uh, predictions for the football. Well, hold on a minute, we've got some people hypnotised. Why can't one of them believe they are Paul the Octopus? In the tank, in Berlin Zoo. <laughs> Why not? Able to speak. You would, wouldn't you? It makes believe Emil Heskey can score, <laughs> then they will believe anything. <laughs> so, it was amazing. I'm going to play you what happened in a minute, so you are going to find out who is going to win the World Cup Final 2010 in a second. But Tony, the guy that did it, proper went for it. I mean, his arms were wobbling around. He was really, honestly, you, he looked like an octopus in a tank as he moved along. We put two plates down with food on each, like happens in the real thing that Paul the Octopus does, and we basically let him pick which plate he wanted to eat the food off, with a flag on the bottom representing each of the two teams, Spain and Holland, in the final. Okay, one, two, three, open your eyes, you're wide awake, and we have German, a uh, German Paul the Octopus. Are you there? You all right? Yeah. Hello. 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 <laughs> I, I believe you're a mind-reading octopus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It must be difficult having, uh, you know, being a, an amazing uh, fortune teller octopus, having eight legs and everything. What do you think of the whole world looking at your predictions? Uh, it's a little pressure. A little pressure. There we go. There we go. I'm, I'm managed to speak English. Do octopuses speak English and German? Yeah, I'm Finnish. Finnish, Finnish. <laughs> Can you say a few words in Finnish for us? Kidos uh, And what does that mean in English? Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello, Mum. Right, 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 right. What we've got is some clams there. If you can wobble and move your testicles, uh, tentacles <laughs> all over the place and just choose one of them uh, clams there. Wibbly wobbly, wibbly wobbly. Just choose that up Have a little bite. Ladies and gentlemen, let's see what clam is chosen. And the winner of the real 2010 Cup is, in fact, Holland, everybody's feeling like the Hollanders. Paul the Octopus from the Berlin Zoo has given him. There you go. Holland are going to win the World Cup 2010 because Paul the Octopus hypnotised, sort of, I don't know, floated and waddled <laughs> his way across the room, picked some food off of the plate with the Dutch flag on the bottom. Congratulations, Holland. Get your money on Holland now is the message. But any money you do win is property of XFM. Yeah. To be more precise, the breakfast show producer on XFM. Okay. Just, All to right. get, just to clear it up, just in case. <laughs> Holland are going to win. It's official. Thanks again to Alistair, the, uh, Alistair Stevenson, the hypnotist. Absolutely amazing night it was. Pictures and stuff are going to be flooding through our Twitter page at XFM, uh, the XFM Twitter page and online as well. Uh, uh, someone's just walked in the studio. You look really familiar. Hello. Hi, it's Alan Hansen. 
Cocker, this is terrible. I'm not buying this poorly octopus thing. It's terrible because, Cocker, you don't win anything with squids. This is XFM. The XFM Breakfast Show with Tim Cocker.